going on everybody and welcome back to another player review so today we have Theo Hernandez first owner pack pulled untradeable I am very very happy I somehow managed to pull this beast oh man I mean out of my rewards right we got untradeable Dybala untradeable Hernandez untradeable Orisic dude our luck has been on point we literally got first owner tradable Varane the other day this luck is honestly rigged, not to mention Martial, we got Royce, uh, Gretzka, dude I could go on for a while, we have had some nuts pack luck, this is my second account as well, this is an account I use to record content um, and eventually when my brother gets a PS4 or PS5 I'll, I'll be handing this account over to him, so this is like a content account for me at the minute and of course this is an account where I'm getting all the good pulls, but either way boys, today we have a Theo Hernandez play review, before we get into this if you guys are new and you do want to help support the channel you can do so by simply dropping a like and subscribing uh the support recently has been nuts so i just want to say a massive thank you so theo hernandez obviously is a brother with lucas Han hernandez so you could get a nice french link going there because lucas hernandez i have in my main team and he is an absolute baller so starting off he is six foot tall i'd say more on the tall side high medium work crates which is what basically all fullbacks fullbacks have as a left back you want him to be left footed and he is so absolutely perfect three star three star maybe as a left back you would want maybe four star skill moves which i personally i do like skill moves at left back and right back you know do the occasional rainbow flick so yeah that could come in as a con but we will actually see how crucial it is for attributes he is honestly rapid coming in with 94 pace his shooting obviously doesn't matter but his long passing of 63 is lacking a bit his curve is lacking as well and as a left back as a full back i do quite like passing the ball quite a bit so that could come in as a con there as well but his short passing is good his vision is decent his crossing is good his agility of 78 is decent balance isn't too great but he's got some decent composure nice dribbling as for defending stats some incredible defending stats physical art as well is looking very good sadly he does not have any traits he is roughly coming in at roughly a hundred and twenty thousand coins if i actually have a look uh yeah around 120,000, maybe 130,000 coins obviously he is untradeable so i cannot sell him so for the chem style today uh literally the pace boost you could go with an anchor if you want to get that pace boost but today we'll be going with a guardian it's literally just up to your perspective and what you want in my opinion at this point of the game there's not much attackers with more than 94 pace and obviously as a fullback you can cut them off uh say if a wing is running down the wing you can cut them off and you will catch up so with a guardian on full chem what it does is it puts them to 97 You've heard that right, 97 stand tackle, 93 slide tackle, 85 defensive awareness, 77 interceptions, 80 hitting accuracy, but the best bit of this game style, from 64 balance to 74 balance, being 6 foot obviously he's not going to have too much balance, but with his balance boost he will turn much better, much smoother, he'll feel better on the ball, not only that, but he goes to 98 dribbling with 84 ball control. A Guardian, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. Get this chem style in, because it is a sensational chem style. Now, the last part of the intro, some of you guys do want to see this, is a custom tactics. We will play a 4 triple 2 uh, and I would actually play Douglas Costa on the right, because he's left footed to cut in, so I will switch that up in a second. But, Lucas Hernandez, I have him stay back while attacking with normal interceptions when we are playing defensive. But when we are playing attacking, I do have him on, where is he? There we go, overlap and balance attack. So he will overlap, say, Douglas Costa at some points. But without further ado, boys, let's get into a review. Is he worth it? So, it is a good team. He's got Everton in there at left mid. Alexandro, Fernandinho, Sanchez. He's got uh, Fofty in there. Oh, James. All right, no, it's a sweetie team. Richarlison and Rodrigo. Scare me the most at the minute. So straight away, we are going to pass this back to Theo. He goes under Theo, even though obviously his name is Theo Hernandez. Wow, he... Jesus, okay. Dribbling around with him, he actually feels really good. He feels really, really good. And it's, really, it's weird. He does not feel like he's got low balance. He does not feel like he is low balance. I honestly, I, I'm really enjoying that card. From that very small amount of time I had with him, his passing was incredible. Everything about him was incredible. Now it could be another test for him here. We do get 
cool. Out of position. We are good for now. Poor pass. Theo. Can't quite get that tackle through. I've left that open. Theo Hernandez. Oi, what a save. What a save. Theo Hernandez pushing out. He is very, very fast. That's one thing I have noticed about him. A hey, what a block. Seven minutes in. We're facing two people, which I hate facing two people. So it's a massive challenge for him. Playing this back to Theo. Dude, he is rapid. I don't know what it is about him. He is freaking rapid. He is rapid. Well, I, what do I mean what I do? Okay, well, I don't know what I was trying to say. Of course I know what it is about him. He's got freaking 94 pace. Man is rapid. We see Plea in here. Back to Plea. This would be one hell of a goal. If we can finish it, we can too. It is Plea. 1-0 up. 10 minutes in. Absolutely sensational. Uh, I was going to say Lucas Hernandez. Theo Hernandez having a big play in that as well. And play this back to not quite to Theo. There we go. Now we are going to swap pitch. There we go. I like that. Uh, maybe not quite where I wanted it. My target was Mukulele, my right back. But we'll take it. It was not bad whatsoever. Give us back up to Theo. Nice skill moves. Well, I mean, I say that, but nice agile dribbling. Dude, see, the agile dribbling is nuts. That's what happens when you have, like, 98 dribbling, obviously, with the gladiator as uh, chem style applied. Let's go for a bit of a run here. It is risky. He actually goes through them. Man, he is he rapid? He goes through. Can he get through another one? Oh, my God, he can. He's going to whip that back post. If someone was in there, that would have been a, probably my assist of the year. That was a sensational run. He gets past two people. Literally does them for dead. Obviously, with good agility and good balance. Um, he doesn't have great balance, but with 74 balance, he just turns better on the ball. But also, agility, just body build, comes into play when you are uh, marking them. Can we actually break here? Obviously, if you're going to be 5'5", five five, you'll just move way easier than if you were to be 5'11", 6'. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, man, how do you not finish that? But yeah, obviously, being 6'... Uh, when you're marking your opponent, you do tower over them, and that is one pro of being a tall fullback. But the one con is when you are jockeying, I think it's called, and you are literally trying to, uh, okay, it's hard to focus. When we're about to go 2 0 up, easy dubs, boys, easy dubs. Oi, what an interception. What an interception. I say what an interception, a poor pass, but still in the right position at the right time. I'm really impressed. 35 minutes in, I'm really impressed with Theo Hernandez right now. Really impressed. Let's give us back to Theo. We've got time. My opponents, I feel like they don't really know what they're doing. I think one of them's really good and the other one's not great. There's very, very good dribbling around. We're going to go in for that. Okay, it's only yellow. I thought that was red. That was poorly timed on my part. I'm lucky that's not a red, boys. I'm lucky that's not a red. Theo here, nice body feint, fake shot, ref, how's that not a foul, the dude literally just dived into me, oi what a block, what a block, can we keep it in, we can't quite keep it in, die 2-1, game's on, game is on boys, okay, it's not over, these guys have I've been actually starting to have a comeback, why are you guys celebrating, you're losing, we're going to go attacking. We want to put a final nail in the coffin. These dudes have been uh, kind of toxic, you know, doing a chicken dance. Haven't, didn't skip a single thing. So, you know what that means? We're going sweetie. Do they mean on this hey, we take that. Die Bala. Die Bala. There we go. There we go. The final nail in the coffin, hopefully. We win that, we'll play that back to Theo. Getting pressure on him, there we go, to be patient. Around, oi, that's cheeky, that's cheeky. Oh wow, if we can somehow score from this, we see Nabry now. Nabry, we're gonna fake shot in, referee! No, okay, it's decided to register quite late on there. Douglas Costa, unlucky. James. Hernandez, right, there we go, this is what I'm talking about. He does, we have to, okay, he's past him. Nah, we're good, we're good. So what I'm talking about, uh, as a fullback, usually if you play, if you run on the outside of the attacker, then you will obviously catch up. Theo Hernandez here does well to keep that and shield that. He's got quite a bit of strength as well, I believe, so it does really help. There we go. That is full time, and boys, Theo Hernandez, 
was incredible. He was incredible. In my opinion, he's probably one of the best left backs in the game. Obviously, Alonso Davies, Robertson will be there. But a 7.6 for Yellow Card would have broaden it down a bit. But one out of two tackles, zero out of one crosses. Uh, as you guys saw at the beginning, 16 out of 18 dribbles, 15 out of 16 passes. He was honestly top notch, boys. I really, really did. It was a foot founder as well we were facing. I really, really did enjoy Theo Hernandez, lads. I can't lie when I say this. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm keeping him in my team. Of course I am. He's untradeable, first owner. He's going for 150 or 130,000 coins. It's a big price tag to pay, but his pros is his pace. His dribbling was actually much better. 64 balance didn't feel like 64 balance. Like I said, pace, he is rapid. His physical is incredible. His passing is incredible. His defending is absolutely incredible. Recommended chem style 100% will be a gladiator. Without a doubt, you want to get that dribbling boost, but not only that, you go to like 98 stand tackle, 95 slide tackle it is the best possible thing and in my opinion if you have a, gar a guardian was it or a gladiator one of the two he will be absolutely incredible boys anyway lads it has been your boy davis 100 percent worth him worth it go buy him right now you will not regret it he gets some nice links as well obviously he gets french links to say mukulele or not mukulele upamecano um but he also does get links to say french left wings and uh, French or left wings in Italian league, he gets a lot of links. This is a top, top card, and I would not go past it. Buy this card right now, boys. Anyway, lads, it has been your boy Davis, and remember, if you did get anything from this video, make sure to smash a like and subscribe. It would be muchly appreciated. And until next time, lads, I'll see you later. Peace out, boys.